Hi, today we're going to look at adding and subtracting rational expressions with like denominators. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is how to add and subtract fractions. So if I had the fraction one third plus one third, I'm allowed to combine these. I'm allowed to add them because our denominators are both the same. They're both three. So what happens is I keep that and the number up top, the numerator, the one and the one, we then add them together to give us that two. And if for whatever reason we could simplify this, we, we of course would where we might have to do that somewhere with one of these other problems. Now, let's take it to something a little more complex. So first one, I have a denominator of three and three. That's gonna stay the same, so we bring that over. The two numerators, eight x and five x, we need to combine them, combine like terms, add them, add them up, we're gonna get 13 x. We cannot simplify, we call it a day. Underneath that, our denominator gets a little more complicated. It's now a binomial, x plus one, x plus one, but they are the same and that's what we want. So we keep the denominator and we still wanna follow along with those same rules. So up here we added the eight x and the five x, we combined them. I wanna do the same here, but I got a problem. They're not like terms. One's got an x, one doesn't have an x, but that's fine. We're just gonna leave them next to each other. 5x plus 5. Now, can you simplify? Well, up top, I can factor out something. They both share a 5. I want to pull a 5 out. And I want to kind of like, I want to undistribute this. I want to factor it. So 5 times what gives me 5x? Five, 5 times five, uh, 5 times x. 5 times what gives me 5? 1. Because they share a 5, this is going to help us out because we then factor out five and then x plus one. And now the x plus one and the x plus one, they're the exact same things. So let's just cancel them out, leaving us with just plain old five. Uh, <clears throat> we have two new fractions that we're gonna subtract now. Our denominator, okay, it's a monomial like what we first started with, but it's got variables in there, a little more complicated. But who cares? Because they're still, they're both the same. So we leave that, 4xy. Up top, let's just combine things that we can combine if we can. Well, this has a z, this does not. I want to do the same thing that I just did over here where I just put them next to each other. So we're going to say 7z minus 5. 7 and 5, there's nothing I can factor out. And... There's nothing they share up and down. It's ugly, but it's simplified. Uh, last one, so we have binomials up top, bottom top, bottom. Our denominators are the same, good. We wanna keep them. So we keep that x plus four. Up top, now we're gonna have to combine individual pieces. So I wanna combine three x and the four x by subtracting. So I'm gonna say three x minus four x, giving us negative one x. I want to say negative 5 minus 2, giving us negative 7. Uh, we could leave it there. Or can you factor anything else out? Well, let's see. You can kind of, they both share a negative up top. Um, you could pull a negative out and get negative x plus 7 all over x plus 4. You might see an answer that looks something like that, but this is okay. So yeah, that's adding and subtracting rational expressions with like denominators.